Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Duma Obiekwe on your screen. Wow, I've missed you guys so much. I really missed you. How many people missed me? Sorry, I've been away for some time. I had one of the things I was doing and I've been away from you guys for over three months now. But I thank God I am back and I'm here to share good news with you guys okay so i'm here to share with you how to start a career business here in nigeria because i'm a nigerian based youtuber river state podcast city to be precise okay so if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to watch my video and if you are a new subscriber join the family okay I am specifically here to share business ideas, my faith, my family, lifestyle, majorly. We do everything here in this channel. Anything at all that will make you guys or keep you guys happy is what I do on my channel. Okay? So, without wasting much of your time, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to start a career business here in Nigeria. I just started, I just started mine some months back. And so far, it's been lucrative, and I thought it was to come share with you guys. So, if you are looking for something that you will do that will earn you 10 to 20k daily, then Korea business is for you. Or if you are looking for something to invest your money in, you don't have an idea, I'm sharing one with you now so you can invest your money in it. Okay? Without wasting much of your time, dive right into the video. Okay, I'll start by defining what Korea service is. Okay, I think I have to define it so everybody gets to understand what I'm about discussing with us. Okay, a Korea service is a business company that moves packages from one location to another for a fee. Simply moving stuff from point A to point B for a particular fee, you get paid for moving stuff from one place to another. I think that's the simplest uh, definition I can give to what a Korea service is. This business is actually, is really, really very lucrative. It's really, really very lucrative. In fact, after the um, outbreak of COVID-19 and, um, uh, okay, after the whole trauma of um, COVID-19 and all, the increase in online sale is so super now. I know, I know uh, in diaspora and other countries, I'm sure they must have been doing things like this so much. But in Nigeria now, it's so high. Like the online market now is just so high. You can buy crayfish, buy onion. In fact, these days, both meat, the things you know that before you actually go to the market to get them. Now you can order online and get a Korea. A company to help you pick up from where you got it from to your house without leaving the house so the online marketing now is very high so you see why I say this business is actually very lucrative because I just started my after the COVID-19 um, season <laughs> that is what I would call it but before you can actually but before you can actually go into this business there are lots of things you need to put into place. Like there are so, so many things you're supposed to put into consideration before you can start this business. Okay, that you know about logistics does not mean about delivery services does not mean you just wake up and you jump into it. There are lots of things you should do. You must say I'm going to be listing out the things you will have to do to start off your own career company. I'm going to be listing them out to you. The things you're supposed to do before starting off your own career company. The number one thing you must do is to have a plan. You must have a plan. You cannot just wake up and decide you want to start a Korea company, no. You must have a plan. And I'm going to be giving you some things you're supposed to be thinking about and working on. Like the plans you're supposed to, to have. I'm going to be giving you some of the tips. 
you have to decide on the kind of person you want to be delivering. It's not like you cannot deliver everything. It's not like you cannot deliver everything. But we have to put the capital into consideration. Decide on the kind of person you want to be delivering. Because the, the carriage you use in carrying food items is not the same you use to carry liters. Like liters now. There, there's, there are different carriage you can use on the bike, on the motorcycle you're going to purchase. Because what I'm doing is the um, bike um, delivery. But with time, I know we'll grow into getting a van and getting vehicles for delivery. But for now, I'm still on the bike, um, bike logistics, or should I say, the bike career business. So you must decide on the kind of parcels you want to be delivering. So when you go to get your motorcycle and get your carriage, you know what you're getting. So you do not waste your money because there are different items. So there are different carriages for different products you're going to be delivering. We have food items. We have uh, food, uh, uh, food places where you can do delivery. The bag you use in carrying food is not the same you use to carry parcels like letters and all. Do you understand? You have to decide the scope of your service area. What I mean by this is you just have to decide if you just want to be doing logistics just around your city, like I'm in Port Harcourt. I just do within Port Harcourt for now. Anywhere in Port Harcourt, I'll go for the delivery. But you, if you have more capital and you have more money, you decide the area where if you want to do interstate or you want to do just within the state, you have to decide before you start. You have to decide if you just want to be a local Korea company or you want to do interstate or beyond Nigeria. You see this particular one, before you decide, just know that you're going to invest more money. You must have plenty of money because you have to get a vehicle. You don't expect a bike to be doing interstates for you. Do you understand? So it depends on what you want to do. But I'm talking to you based on my own personal story. I'm doing a bike, um, I'm doing the bike logistics, like the bike delivery service. So I do it around Port Harcourt City. So you have to decide what you want before you start up this um, Korea company. You have to check your surroundings. You have to check your surroundings to know the amount you're going to be charging per delivery. You just have to weigh your options and know how you're going to make money. No, just check around, ask questions, ask people who have already started, make investigations. So you do not have you do not have high hopes like you're thinking you're going to make hundred thousand and now you're making fifty. You know, you have to put a lot of things into place. And the reason why I say this business is so cool is you can start it from your house. Nobody comes to your house to look at it. If you want to start small, you want to start big, it's okay. When I started, I started from the house. I started from the house, but now I have an office space. Because we're, as we're growing, I'm going to do a part two of this um, video if you want me to. Because there's some, there's some other things I'll need you guys to do. There's some other ideas I know I can talk to you about. If you want a part two of this video, just let me know. Okay, so you can start from your house because I started from the house, but now I have an office space where I run my um, Korea service from. So these are the basic things you're supposed to put into consideration. If you have put these things into consideration, then you now decide that you want to start. After putting this consideration, you decide within yourself that you want to start a Korea business. Then we will now move into the next stage, which is you're going to get a bike. If you get a bike, you get the carriage of what you want to be delivering. You do your, you, you must install trackers on this bike. You must do insurance in case of any mishap or mis, um, of any accident or anything. Um, you can actually have a leverage from there. You must do your um, bike papers, like you must do your registrations with the local government. You must register your company. You must pay for in, in River State here. We paid for RISA. That's the advertisement agency. So you do not have any problem doing your delivery service because if you do not put these things into place, if you do not put them into place, your you might send your rider out to go make a delivery for you, and on the road. Um, if the police or the government um, enforcement agencies 
get to you. That delivery will not be done and it won't tell good on your on your company. The clients will not like that their packages are getting to them late or they are being seized or anything. So you must do the necessary local government registrations. You must register those bikes with the government. You must do we call it due diligence. You must run checks on the things you're supposed to do and make sure you put them into place. Then you get riders, make sure they are medically certified so you do not have any problem on them transporting. Make sure they are fit to be riders on the road. Do you understand? I, I, these are the measures I took while starting mine and it's been working. Make sure they are okay. Make sure they do not have any health issues so they do not have accidents on the road riding the bikes going for the delivery. So you have to put a lot of things into place. Then you get gadgets. You must get them a phone, an Android phone. You must get them headgears. You must get them safety safety boots. You must get them rain boots, rain coats in case of when there is rain. There are so many things you're supposed to do. On this part two of this video, that is if I have a reason to make it, if you tell me you want it, I'm going to be listing basically how much you're going to be spending on everything I just mentioned now. So this is basically what you need to start up a career business. It's not so difficult. If you have the fund, you can do it. So you must also get uniforms to identify your company. It's also um, a way of advertisement. You must have flyers with your riders so they can actually share to people, so they can call you to come pick up and do deliveries for them. You just have to have them um, branded t-shirts, brand the bags, brand um, the boxes, the carriage you're going to be using on the bikes. So you can actually see your, your contact address and contact you to come do delivery. So it's, it's a part of um, advertisement. So these are basically the things you need to start up a Korean company. So if you enjoyed this video and you want me to do a part two of this video, just let me know on the comment section. Let's interact. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be attaching a short clip of my office space and maybe some of my riders and my bikes so you get to see what I do here in Port Harcourt City. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. And if you are a new subscriber, please subscribe to my channel, support your girl. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to leave a comment on the comment section. Let's interact. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>